Goodness. All right, I'm just waiting to pull it up on my phone. Let's see. Oh, I should also do focus mode. There we go. And where are our... There we go. Oh, I hear you. Oh, well, we don't want to hear me. Um, hey there. Uh, we... Um, what we want to do is, I didn't put us up, whoops. <clears throat> Let me fix that, give me a moment. There's video capture, but where is it? How do you edit? Like you're asking the wrong question. Why isn't it firing? I guess I could it try. Feels like I'm not doing it I guess I could try that. Like. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, so I know that n nobody can see us right now. That's, that's kind of evident. Um, we're trying to m fix that, but it's like, where is it? Pages? No, it should be display. Okay, there we go. So there's that at least. Now where's the video capture? Like... Oh, there we go. Okay, there we are. There's Jesse. Now Jesse's not feeling too well today, so uh, we're going to be focusing mostly on me. Which is, I think, what everybody wants. Uh, anyway, just me all the time, right? Um, but um, here, hold on a minute. Let me uh, move this somewhere and maybe shrink it down. How's that? Like, is that mostly good? I don't know. Oh, Miles says the audio is crisp AF. Well, that's very nice, isn't it? Uh, anyway, um, so this is... And thank you, Jonathan. This is what we're going to be doing. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> with the on-screen chat, we have noticed that because we're we're streaming from the laptop right now we've noticed the last few times that we try to do the on-screen chat um, and you'll certainly recall it seems to stop every so often mm -hmm. and then it's like pretty soon it just doesn't go and so it's just not worth doing this is a, a temporary solution right now to what is going to be an ongoing problem we've discovered that due to the recent um, OS update for Mac. Um, we can no longer work on the document simultaneously if we stream from my computer upstairs. And uh, so we kind of don't know what to do about that. Um, we have uh, Jesse's computer downstairs in a different location. Uh, but right now it doesn't have um, it doesn't have the font software installed. And I decided that today would be a good day to start the font because, not because, you know, we've finished with everything else, 
but because um, Jesse just isn't feeling too well. And so if there had to be a day where I was going to be doing most stuff, it might as well be with the font. And yeah, the video is smaller than usual. That's because I don't really like the way I look right now, and especially not from this angle. Um, and I think Jesse can appreciate that too. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's not a good angle for me. We should get the little lap desk and raise the computer up so the camera is more like this. I suppose we could. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, we could give that a try. Okay. I mean, I'm going to need my coffee. Yeah. Thanksgiving, uh, believe it or not, uh, is on a Thursday every year. Also, something I've learned about English orthography um, Jesse, with, that ends with an E, not an IE, is, for, is generally a male name. Jesse with an IE is generally a female name. I didn't know that uh, the first few times I referred to Jesse in print. I've since learned it. Can I have the coffee? Yes, of course. Here, we can even set it right there. Well, that's nice and convenient. Now, let me, uh, okay, Should so that. I scoot over? I, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I can't stop you. Yeah, but like no one could see me. I know. I'm... Here, I'll, I'll adjust it slightly. I think my shoulder's in view now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. See? There, I can adjust it even slightly or like that, and that'll, that'll help. Um, anyway, so we have a big pole. Yes. And that pole um, was very confusing. And I see I didn't pull it up. So especially since I'm on my laptop and it's just this is what I use for work and everything is pretty much NDA. I'm going to uh, black out the screen a little bit. Wait, did you actually black it out? Because I could still see it. No, see, because it's got pages. Isn't that nice? Oh, so you can keep that up while everything else is black. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Okay. Here. It wow. just scared me for a second. There. All right. So we're going to find... Where did I put that? Oh, there it was. Here's the... Miles asked a very good question. Mm -hmm. You have bad angles? <laughs> oh, Miles. That is exactly the way. Well done. All right, let's see. Oh, we should have looked at the Copicon poll before today, but <clears throat> maybe we can release the results of that in our special episode, our Thanksgiving Spectacular, as I call it. Where we don't know what we're doing. We're releasing the poll, the results of Copicon. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, it'll be it'll be great. It'll be one of those things where it's like an hour and fifty five minutes of commercials. I like it. You know, yes. <laughs> where we and every single time we say, and we're getting right close to being able to re release the results. But before that, actually, before that, what we need to do is highlight each city that didn't make it to the finals. Mm, yeah, and talk about what would have happened there, yeah. because there was going to be some good stuff. Anyway, uh, all right, so th I think this is good enough because we just need people to see the poll. Could probably get rid of this. Um, trash that. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, and I, I immense of, uh, so we decided on what glyphs we wanted or what were in the top 22. And we decided on assignments for some of them. And we did this because we had words uh, for those particular, the things that they were pictures of and decided to um, assign them. But then what we discovered is that we had some pictures, three of them in particular, that all began with the same letter, which was, um, what is this, proto uh, the uh, barred I. So initially we had assigned it to uh, D, which was this one, which I think was the cat nose. Um, claw, wasn't it? No, was it? Claw. It was a claw. This was the cat nose, right? Yeah. 
So we decided to do that because we looked at it first and knew that it began with uh, but then we realized later that two others begin with uh, as well. So then that kind of threw it back into the mix. But at least we decided on these. So um, here, let's actually look at the images. If they're in purple, they're decided. So the kitty face is going to be K, which is nice, I think. And then um, this little curly guy, and I forget what the original image was, was going to be a proto ya. We have this V looking thing as a proto a, that's really good. Uh, o is a proto k. Um, and then there's this very fancy fellow that's also a potential proto u. And then this, uh, the dog, ironically, was proto r. Uh, which was ironic because we had an image for per, which could have been it, but instead the dogs are getting uh, Anyway, so with that in mind, we had, <clears throat> I'm getting over something too. Um, we had two different polls. So one- You got me sick. I didn't. We don't spend enough time together for me to get you sick. Only Thursdays. By the way, I, I love how everybody's just um, gone nuts uh, romanizing Jesse. I like it. I like it. Oh, look. A little Langtime Studio logo is right over my face. It's kind of funny. Lean into it. You know what? I, I think I should, I hate to be one of those fussy bears, but I think I should put it in the corner, uh, in the other corner right there. All right. So anyway, the first poll was deciding on what was going to represent barred I. Were we going to go with our original decision to make it D? Were we going to go with Z, which is this one, and that was a sunspot, a cat sitting in a sunspot? Or were we going to go with stock, which was CC, this complicated one? Now that I'm looking at this, I'm regretting making this a poll, but let's find out what the results are. <laughs> um, as a side note, before we get to that, I just want to say I love you, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, we have a winner, very clear winner. It's D, Claw, E. All but right. Not even a question. Wonderful. So that makes things a lot simpler. Oh, no, we're not editing that. Sorry. <clears throat> Good. All right. Um, and here, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna get out a purple pen. And I'm going to use this purple pen to make assignments in the book. But that one was already made, so we're okay. Happy birthday, Silvertail. Hey, Silvertail. And because we won't be here next Thursday, happy birthday a week in advance to uh, Turkey Sloth. Oh, and happy belated birthday to Applesauce Project slash Cupcake Parade. Hmm. Okay, I'm covered. Now we can go on. Applesauce Project Cupcake Parade and the new brownie experience featuring caramel. Oh, I like it. Mm. Okay, go on. Go on. All right. So that poll, like I was saying, I was regretting putting it up for a poll because I was like, eh. D, the D is much better. After all, it's going to be a vowel. It's going to be a common one. That's much better. So thank you. The patrons done it. They did it. They did it well. Bibliorian or the, the, uh, the Bibliorian doctrine need not be invoked. So then that leads to the bigger poll. So this one was tough. This one was tough. You'll see that D was not a part of it. But that's okay. It's now okay. Because what was going to happen was basically then um, D was going to become whatever one like Z or Z or CC or whatever became. So we're all good. Okay, so this one was like a really hard one to put together in terms of winners. Um, and the only one... There was one image that had four votes for the same sound, and that's like the clearest winner. Everything else was like 
a lot of little ties with two and three going toward a sound. And so I essentially had to keep assigning sounds until like, you know, across the ties to make sure all the images got covered. Right. They all did get covered. Cool. But like a lot of them are really just because, you know, the other one where they had two happened to be in a category where somebody else had two, where that was the only one where they had two. So they had to take it. So. That's perfect. Yeah. Anyway, all that is to say it was very complicated and I stared at it and it's not something to do when you're feeling sick because your brain is like, what? Okay. Can't, can't believe the patrons did that to you. I know, I know. But the clear winner is that image H is the sound H. <laughs> Let's take a look. The clear winner. Let's take a look. There it is. All right. The uh, O with the circle in it is going to be Proto H. Let it be written. Okay. And the uh, and the opossums let out a solemn knan, and the cats rolled their eyes. <laughs> All right. So from there, like again, not like super clear winners across the board. So I'm just going to start at the top. Yeah, this I mean, this is where the dominoes fall like jacks. Um, so if you want to scroll to the images, so they're seeing, we're going to start with image A. Image A. Image A is going to be Proto Z. Proto Z. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Image B is going to be Proto S. Kind of looks like an S. Image G. Backwards C. Is going to be Proto W. Huh. I like that. I'm glad you do, because you're stuck. <laughs> Image J is Proto T. Okay, that's that's a bit of a harder pill to swallow. But you know what? It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Image K is Proto N. That's good. That's good. Image M is Proto X. Oh. It's kind of cute. Like image N. Oh. No, that's sad. It's Proto O. It could have been Proto T, but Proto O didn't win on anything else except for this one, and this one needed S. It's oh. no, it's better. Okay, okay. It's better, don't worry. Image O is Proto B. That is a really, really solid choice, and I'm very proud of the patrons for that. Okay. Image P uh -huh. is Proto L. Wow. <laughs> that thing's going to be an L. We better come up with a different way to do Geminids. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's it's good. It's good, but like no way people are writing two of those. <laughs> All right. Just put a little squared up by it. A little. A little, a little squared. <laughs> All right. Image R is Proto D. That's good. That's really good. Image T is Proto E. That's also good. Well done. Okay. Z is Proto Ash. <laughs> it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? A little bit. Unbelievable. But of course, this is a cat uh, lying in the sun in a sunspot going, ah. <laughs> B B is Proto R. Look at that. Uh, which which R? Oh, the lowercase R. Because Lower, we, because we, we have uppercase R. Right, right, right. That's good. So the alveolar tract. And then finally, C C is our last one. Yeah. Yeah, because D D was already decided. Yes, it's. Oh, thank Schwab. God! I was like. 
you didn't have it up here. And I was like, how did I miss that? No, that was a, if I, the mistake was on the image because you'll see that I have it okay. up here. And, and so I, I just forgot to put the put it in purple there. Go ahead. CC is? M. M. <laughs> Which it looks like. Which it does. All right. By the way, the one of the only other ones L got a lot of votes for was CC. So L was just going to be a big curly Q shape no matter what. All right. All right. Well, well then. <clears throat> There we are. So now um, we've got so we've got the basic uh, set there, um, and what we are going to do now, uh, when it comes to doing a, a font, right? We've got our shapes, which is good. So we can start setting about and making them, which is going to take a lot of effort, and so it's worth getting a shot, getting uh, getting that started. We're going to have to figure out our spelling system along the way. Um, because obviously we, uh, we're going to do a, um, the, oh, the, the end mass recap of it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll write it up somewhere, but, um, oh, what I need to do mm -hmm. is remember what each of these images stood for, because what we're going to be doing while you work on orthography shapes is I'm going to be running polls for what sounds should be associated with these words right to create that letter shape as it's like base form and so we're gonna i need to essentially create that list in the document but like you need to do a lot of beginning work on some of the ones we already know yeah and so it's like you can be doing that while i get get it settled onto a page and then you can join me in the document when I'm ready. Well, I can be, but let's let's get that settled first, but I just wanted to run people through. So it's like, yeah, yeah we're making the shapes, right? Uh, ultimately, when we have the shapes, we're going to have to figure out uh, kerning, which will be a thing for this, but uh, we're doing a modern orthography, which means that well, even though we came up with glyphs for the protoforms, the spelling is going to be more or less regular uh, so like something, you know, closer to like uh, spelling in Spanish, um, not spelling in English. So, um, these are the glyphs, but we need to figure out, all right, now what's next. And so like, for example, I've already come up with a bunch of solutions for how we're doing some modern sounds. And that is on, shoot, which page? Uh, It's on <clears throat> this page right here, which, which nobody's seen in, in, in my notebook. But like, for example, uh, cha and ja are both going to be spelled with a T or a D followed by the, the, the J character, the proto-J. Um, P is just going to be spelled B. Like there's going to be no distinction because it's going to devoice automatically. Uh, theta is going to be spelled actually, ironically, T-H. Um, ja is going to be spelled either R followed by a J or Z followed by a J, depending on the etymology. Uh, the palatals are all going to be, so palatal L is L followed by J, palatal N is N followed by J. Um, and then uh, for G, it's going to be K plus something. We haven't quite figured it out yet. And then for Angma, we are, we're going to decide, okay, is it going to be K plus something or is it going to be G plus something? There are going to be three different ways to write ch, because it's going to be qh, kh, or x. And that's the type of thing where it's like if there was an academy of mice, uh, they might decide at some point, you know what, we're going to get rid of the qh and the kh, and we're just going to spell everything x. Um, so we can have that up for you know discussion. Uh, e is going to be spelled with barred i, uh, and, and either so this is either going to be two vowels or it's going to be a vowel that turns into a diacritic. Because basically, U can be spelled with barred I followed by O. U can be spelled with a proto A followed by O. And then O, because original O is going to now be pronounced U, U. O can be spelled schwa followed by O. So to me, that says this should be a diacritic. And it should be a diacritic based on our form for O. And we happen to know that O now is something that looks like a C. So it could be a vowel with a little C above it. 
uh, or next to it or somehow involved in it in some way. So we'll figure that out along the way. And we'll also have to decide if anything is going to happen to the uh, proto e glyph. Because barred i is, can be used to spell e everywhere. Uh, the proto e is going to be pronounced e everywhere. And so essentially we're going to have two glyphs that are always pronounced the same. Which means that they, one of them might be the odd man out. And so it might only show up in this uh, with a diacritic for e. Uh, Kind of interesting. Um, anyway, so we've we've got our, our kind of spelling set. But anyway, we will also need to figure out uh, punctuation, numbers, because we didn't do that, uh, and also kind of like extra elements for, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, extra elements for um, uh, writing. So this is where I was talking about like uh, some of our characters are very big that we know are going to get reduplicated. Uh, and so we might go with a reduplicating character instead of a uh, typing them twice. Um, and you can see Jesse's making this um, chart right now. Um, and if we want to, I can pull up the original images to show you uh, just in my booklet. Um, but I want to give you an example of what that looks like here. I'm just going to jump down right here uh, because there were two languages where I've done that. So, Castathon was the first. Uh oh, oh, of course, and I just moved. Oh, it's still there. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So, we're going to make this nice and big for you. <clears throat> That's good. All right, so cast it then. This is, say, me. All right. And then this would be something like um, uh, uh, me too, which would be pronounced, m well, okay, actually, with the sound changes, it would be pronounced miedo because proto me too. Uh, the U lowered at the end of a, of a word, the T voiced a D intervocalically, and then a short I when stressed broke. And so proto mitu became miedo. All right. But you could have geminates. And the way that it worked, uh, the way they decided to spell it was like this. So there's this little character that occurs before a syllable. And it just tells you that the consonant is geminated. Um, and so this uh, next word would be pronounced uh, mieto. Uh, I'm sorry, mieto. No geminate anymore because the geminate's all degeminated. Uh, but it didn't voice. Geminates didn't voice intervocalically. So that's how you get like miedo and mieto. And then they are, they are distinguished intervocalically. So that's just a, one way to do it. And it's much easier than rewriting the whole thing. And that made sense in Castathon because you have certain consonants that end up, uh, how, do, how do you do this? Like, uh, looking like that. <laughs> or uh, what, what's another one? Uh, There, there's this guy. I'm trying to think. What's it? What's it? What's how about? There we go. And so it's like, and not only that, it's a syllable as opposed to a letter. And so then it's like, well, what do you duplicate uh, exactly? And so this, that's why it made sense for this. So uh, for an alphabet, of course, it's nice and easy to write the letter twice. It's just that some of these are very complex. So, okay. So is this the whole set? Well, it's the ones that we need words for. We already have words for the other ones. Okay. The ones that are problematic have the three asterisks, and that's because they were also E words. And so yes. we're going to have to come up with another word or concept that it's representing because, like, to stalk starts with an E. And so we now need some other concept that starts with an M that is associated with stalking. 
Yes. And same with cat resting in sunspot. The word for sunspot came out as e something. Yeah. And so um, we're going to need to come up with a, a different term um, to go with that shape that can start with an ash. Um, but yeah, these are all of the ones we need to get protoforms for. Okie doke. Let's start. <clears throat> all right. So then do you want to kind of do that by voice? Because with the, the, the real estate available for the laptop, I'm not going to be able to show it on screen and also the orthography stuff. Yeah, and I actually, I want to start simple. I want to okay. start with cat eye. All right. We need words that start with a proto W for cat eye. As a reminder, our proto vowels were A, A, E, A, O, A. So there's no lowercase I, no U, so no E and U in the proto forms. Just remember that. That's a pretty tough one to remember. Um, and also as a reminder, our syllable structure is right by it. Um, we can have a, a cluster in the coda, um, but the onset, well, we wouldn't have a cluster with a W, I don't think, anyway. But yeah. there's, um, yeah, so we can have a, a cluster in the coda consonant, but only if it's an approximate um, followed by a nasal or fricative. And so that's what we're dealing with. Okay. Um, and so... Cat eye, or just eye, really. Um, I'm sorry, my, but I, I'm trying. Meridian picked out peach paradise for me, and so I'm drinking some peach paradise. Do you like it? I do. I don't like it as much <clears throat> as the gingerade hmm. or the carrot turmeric. Those two are still my favorite. Hmm. But this is a delightful little fruity drink, so I do like it. So I wanted to let people know what I'm going to be doing right this second. Um, I'm not going to do everything because uh, when you figure out a spelling system, that helps you uh, determine how the romanization system should work in terms of an input. Uh, because you, ideally with the font, you want the input to be very simple and mostly what users are going to expect. Uh, and so you really need to figure out how spelling is going to work before you do that. But I at least want to get it started. <clears throat> We're going to create a new ligature feature, standard ligature, liga. Um, and this is, uh, first we're gonna do a couple of things. Number one uh, is, um, shoot, how do you, you know what, I kind of forget some things, so I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Valyrian font very briefly. Because, yeah, decapitalization is the first thing that I want to do. Basically saying this uh, language is not going to have separate capital letters. So. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, Silvertail said stalking um, could be like we could use the, the concept of um, like to crouch. Mm. Um to look at sort of a passive stalking. So that's kind of a cool idea. Oh, that's a good idea because like it, we did it for stalking, but then it's like what they're doing is crouching. crouching. So, that's, yeah. so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create this ligature. And what it does is it says sub the range of capital A through capital Z by the range ca uh, lowercase a through lowercase z. So this means that anybody that uses the font, if they type an uppercase letter, it's going to return a lowercase letter. Um, and that's just going to make our lives a lot easier. Uh, so um, it's going to add a bunch of new glyphs, uh, but that's fine. Uh, next, we want to start the real ligatures. I'm going to go back to High Valyrian really quick. Oh, of course, High Valyrian is a bunch of weird stuff. So I'll just uh, do this by hand. Um, <clears throat> but So that's decapitalization. And next, we're going to do, um, we'll call these uh, main sarkeje substitutions. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to sub, for example, anytime you type the letter A, 
you're going to substitute it by a character that is a Sarkeje. And there we go. Uh, and we are doing this because A goes to A in Sarkeje. So, like, that's an easy one to start with. And in fact, you know what? We'll, we'll do B as well because B goes to B. Um, but, you know, once you start getting, you know, going elsewise, things get a little complicated. Um, and we can do these substitutions simply because we've already substituted capital A for lowercase a, for example. Otherwise, you'd have to sub substitute both of them at the same time. Um, and so, yeah, and then we're going to hit compile. And it's going to say uh, this, there are two glyphs here that we haven't heard of. Do you want us to add them? We're going to add those glyphs. And now they are there. And they are a part of the language. And we're going to start there. So, pause for a second. Mm -hmm. So far, I've only had two suggestions for W words. Uh huh. Um, I can take more. So, if people have more suggestions, and I, I'm pretty sure Bubba was making a little joke with window being the proto form for I, but it's, it's too big. It is big, but it comes out as Wilmy, which is really cute. But it it is big. Really, one syllable is going to be our best bet, especially with our class marking system, because everything's already going to be two syllables once we start building things. Um, but that is cute. So I, I'm going to leave it there. You can roll it out when we it get It can more be something else. It can be something else. Okay, because it's really cute. Wah is fine. It's, wah is fine, but it's just kind of, you know. Yeah, and Bubba confirmed it was just a joke, but I ran it through Lexergy, and I was like, oh, that's fun. Um, okay, so. There you go. Yeah, those are wow, those are some wow, suggestions. Works. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Okay, first thing we got to do is make an O. <coughs> This, by the way, this high valerian uh, glyph for glass. We just borrowed. But we need to make an O. Okay. Let me double check all these exergy forms. Mm. Okay, I need to add a node there. Okay. Oops. Let me get on the right screen. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. And you. Okay, I have enough suggestions. I will, in a moment, ask David if he wants to veto. Yeah any of them which he will i know um oh there we go there goes those yeah that's cute that's cute okay so we're going to take out window i already know that i'll just go ahead and strike through that one i can only have four options for voting we have wang wu wag woos uh take out wang it's just this one? Yeah, it's just too much for I. Okay. And so those four, you got? I mean, just imagine us, you know, having to translate. Look into my eyes and you will see. Look into my wah. <laughs> to a cat that could sound beautiful. But also, since they don't have plural, let's just look into my eye. Yeah, look into my wing. Wing. All right. So I'm starting a poll. Oh, let me like. Oh God, we could do a Q and A. <laughs> what is he? What does that even mean? Answer viewer questions live. Oh, why would we ever do that? But like, isn't that what we do with comments? No, absolutely not. If they ask questions, I mean, we don't answer them. <laughs> like, I kind of want to click it and find out what happens. Do the poll first, then do that. Do a poll. Okay, I'm going to do a poll first. <clears throat> We're starting a poll. 
she's ready enough to pull as we're doing that. So um, a lot of these glyphs are taller than they are wide. But then you'll notice there's two. No, I'm going to say a, a couple of them that uh, like our Proto Q and Proto H, they like look like they're not that way. And like also D is kind of more circular than ovular. So I kind of don't know what to do about that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to design two O's and see how it works from there. We're going to start with the ovular O. So it's 1,200 tall. So we are going to make it uh, 800 wide. Let's see how, let's see how. Jonathan is announcing that we can skew the votes in two different devices here. Mm. Oh, that's a good call, Jonathan. I'm not sure you could vote twice if they're the same account on two different devices. Ooh. Oh. We got a close one. There's two favorites. Don't tell me it's not worth fighting. I mean, this for. is like eighth grade dance at its finest. I can't tell you it's nothing I want. Like, I want to get up and slow dance with you. You know it's true. Remember, you got to have 12 inches. Everything you got to leave room for Jesus. I do, I do for wah. No, we're not doing it for an eye, we're doing it for you. <laughs> also, like, are you going to get us in trouble for copyright violation singing the whole song? There's no love. All right. All right, all right. By the way, there were no room for Jesus at our school dances. I was raised in Orange County, madam. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I heard how that play went this morning, and I think there's plenty of room for... <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So we have a winner. Wah. What is it? Wah. Wah. Okay, that's good. Could you not tell what I was saying? Am I not? <laughs> Ooh, we'll make it. Do I need to be purple? No, I'll make it green. Oh, God, that's a horrible <laughs> green. It's a pretty green over there, a horrible green on, on screen. That is our winner. I'm trying to decide if I want to make this. Oh, I'm going to oh. make this Christmas, David. Look at this. Oh. Ooh. So I don't want to get rid of our pawns that get in the way. Yeah, those are, those are useful. Now, I'm going to need you to talk a lot because I'm going to need to go use the restroom because I've been drinking so much this morning. You got it. So I'm, I'm experimenting with forms that are 150 units wide, I think. Why are they doing this? Right, it's, it's 150. All right, well. Let's give it a shot. Or wait, actually, let's just make them all smooth. There we go. Now let's make sure that these are actually correct. They are not. Okay, it's 170, so then these need to be 170. And then, all right. Yeah, it's just like the ocean under the moon. 238, those are 238 all around, it looks like. Man. Let me tell you. 
<laughs> Dark horse. Um, Jesse made these cookies the other day that were banana chocolate chip cookies. Had a little bit of cinnamon in them and they're among the best cookies I've ever had in my life and I am missing them so much right now. I'd eat like seven of them immediately. Should have brought me some bananas. Well, you know, we're about to leave for Thanksgiving. You know. We can take them with us on the plane. Mm. Have a whole bag of cookies. Oh, man. that, And we could have brought cookies to your parents' house. We could have arrived with cookies. We could have gotten a platter, you know, in St. Louis and put them on the platter. And, you know, I could have worn a sweater with a turkey on it or a football. A turkey with a football. <laughs> totally want to get you one. And a little helmet. But also... Mm-hmm. Um... The gifts that shipped arrived has arrived there for my parents. Yep. And uh, now I'm like, wait, we don't have wrapping paper. Mm-hmm. We're going to need wrapping paper. Oh, he probably has wrapping paper. Okay, anyway, I'm back. I'm back. All right, looks like this is a perfect O. <laughs> Bubba wants to know when the turkey language is. Yeah. Um, gobble, gobble. As you can see... It's not really, it's, it's still a little diamond shape. The inside is fine. The outside is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and first we're going to make it an even 10, so 240. Thank you, Ragdoll. And also, no, there's not gifts traditionally on Thanksgiving, um, but this is the only time we're seeing my parents during the holidays. And so we're, we're giving them their Christmas gifts. But you do normally show up with food. And so, you know, that would be the cookies. Yeah. Instead, I've just been sending food requests for what we want to eat while we're there. <laughs> so let's see. We got 150, and then we go down to a minimum of 146. And we bow to actually 150.6. Uh, that's, that's a little disconcerting. But what's more dis disconcerting is that we come down to uh, 145.9. So we might want to increase this a little smidge. Let's see what happens if we do that. Um, that, I mean. There we go, and we go down to now 147, but now we bow up here to 151.1. So let's just let's just leave it at that. That's a pretty good oval. I also wanted to mention, since I don't think I had before, that uh, based on the patrons voting for you know the option that they did. The inspiration I had for this script was um, this. So we're going to go to the English rock band, yes. <clears throat> and it was this writing system right here, the way that it says yes. Um, and, you know, writing systems uh, that are similar. In fact, let's see if we can find some psychedelic 60s font. Uh, I mean, like, uh, like this is getting closer right here. Something like that, you know. That's kind of the, the the shape that we're we're going for. Something like that. Something that's very wavy gravy, you know. <clears throat> so that's the idea. Uh, we're starting here. I'm going to do a, a true circle next to it. Um, we'll do a big one so we can see what that's like. Um, and then we might have to do a small one. So um, 800 by 800, for example. But we're going to do 
uh, 1200 by 1200. So these guys, of course, are going to be at 600. And now we have to adjust all these so that they are identical. So I have a question. You sure do. We had said we don't have a word for tongue. Yeah. Where does sarkeje come from? Sard, or sword, means rough, to be rough. The language I thought was supposed to be rough tongue, but we have nothing for keje. Where does that come from? Was that supposed to be our word for tongue? Because our word for language is totally different. But we have nothing documented for the keje rough. Oh. Um, if uh, it was a part of a poll, right? And uh, it was the the ye, yeah. and so when ye yeah comes after something, it goes to je in either r or z. So it would have been either proto k e z or proto k e r, and that it would was, have been tongue. But it was something we did. I believe, in um, a YouTube poll, not as a link on poll. You sure? I, I thought it was a poll on um, the stream. But I ask because one of our glyphs is supposed to be tongue. And it's supposed to be a T. Hmm. And so we may have to um, be creative with what it means. That is, uh, that is a pickle. Does anybody happen to remember? Of course, I could have done those at the same time. Okay, now they're all the same. So now we just adjust these until it looks like a circle. Okay, well that sure doesn't look like a circle. <clears throat> the outside looks closer, so we're gonna say that the Outside will be something like let's try that. Mmm, too much. 330. We're gonna make it 330. Also remembers it being a YouTube poll. So does Magpie. Okay. Oh, someone. Okay, so Magpie says there was a suggestion of lick tool, but doesn't remember if that was actually used. Oh my God! It was the day that Jake met us. Okay. All right. What a good day that was. It also means that Jake won't remember it because he didn't see the stream. No. Um, in fact, they got off the plane and got in the car and found out that That's it was right. a name for the language. Oh, Dark Horse is remembering Wash Tool. Um, what is the tool class that that even makes sense? Yeah. It does make sense because we have the ya ye. So it's going to be something like kaz. Okay. That is very close to a perfect circle. It's not exactly a perfect circle. You can see it goes to 148 there. And I don't know exactly what we would need to do to fix that. Try doing that. Oh, 
Oh no, that made it worse. Of course that would make it worse. Okay. That's too much. So it's somewhere in between 240 and 250. Let's go with 244. Too much. 46. I can't figure out what vowel we plug in. Mm. We're getting worse on soft cases. Uh, I think it's a compound, isn't it? So they don't need to. It doesn't matter. I'm still, I'm getting soft closure, soft closure. Like I'm getting. No, like the, the two words are fully formed and then they're put together. Interesting. All right. Somebody go watch that stream. Figure it out. Oh. All right. I'm getting cliche and. I, I can't figure out. Um, so. Casual. Okay. Oh, it's probably a Q. Put in a barred eye. There we go. Close. Or it could be an R. Close? That turns into a K? Q I R. Oh. Cool. <laughs> okay. All right, that's as close to a perfect circle as we are going to get. Miles says it's episode 420. Jake says it's all coming back to me now. That's darn it. Okay. So either clear or clues. Are the forms. Um, I'm going to attempt to look at episode 420. Okay, I'm going to try to get Jesse more in frame, but it's really hard without those cookies. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right, this would have been near the end. testing forms oh my god I forgot we had these forms we almost had Our forms were floating on. I feel like the poll is coming fairly soon. Okay, 155. Lick tool. Okay, lick tool. Let's try it. Now 
we're going to have a separate word for tongue. That's, that's going to be interesting. What are you doing? Are you drawing anything? I'm, I'm making another circle. This one, a half size circle. Hey, when the heck does our poll come up? Oh, you know what? I don't know that they actually show the poll. Because it's being voted on right now. So I just have to wait and see the final results pop up in chat. I want to make sure I have the right photo for them. Two thirty, one forty-seven. Okay, okay, there we go. So we're bringing everything in mm. by one hundred. Oh, Cade, yeah, Cade. Well, that would give us TJ. That can't be right. Did we just reduce it because it was like, you know, Sarke J would become Sarke J? No, 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 no. Look at that happy little circle. Fantastic. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah, it's pretty darn near perfect. Except for that. That's weird. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Miles. Kubia. It's a D. Okay, I need my bow. Okay. And we decided Sarke J would become pronounced Sarke J, I guess. All right. I guess. Hey, I need my math people. I need your help. <gasps> oh, never mind. Math people, you can go back to sleep. I see what the problem is. Wow, I wonder if that came from the original one. That is... Oh my God! Why is this stupid thing doing this? All right, come here, you. 250, 247. Ah, I didn't adjust it. That was the problem. Okay. Okay. We got our oval. We got our two circles. So, mm -hmm. now is the tough part. We have to decide on one of these glyphs, decide on kind of like a shape. Decide if they're going to be different sizes. I am ready to return to my part of what I'm doing while you're thinking. I'm thinking that maybe the we're going to make like the <clears throat> the main height for all of these things. Like I was working with twelve hundred, but I think maybe it should be a thousand. I want you to think about that, and I'm going to pose another poll, another. Wait, I'm going to try this Q&A. No, wait, they have to. It's not me asking questions. It's supposed to be them asking questions. Never mind. I don't want to try the Q&A. No, no, no. We just try it, but do the poll first. We'll no, do... we, we don't have a poll to ask yet. I need suggestions. Oh, yeah. For, for what? I think I'm going to do, because we need to think about tongue and what that's going to be. Cat tongue. Okay, so we'll do tongue. It needs to start with a T. Um, I was going to say we could talk, but I'm just trying to come up with forms for tongue. Starting with the T. 
do the Q&A. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. No, that is so not how I thought it would work. Wow. So now there's a questions channel and a live chat. Oh my goodness. You know what they you know where they got that from? Does that sound familiar to you? It's it's Zoom. Oh my god. Remember how there's like a separate thing for, for questions that they have? They're like, whoa, if you like that, we'll do that too. I'm not sure I like this. You know what? I'm sitting a little too close for you to be waving your fists around like that. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll control myself. Okay, I'm going to end this Q&A. So if you've seen it, I'm sorry. I'm ending it. Let's just keep it in live chat. There we go. In live chat. <laughs> We're coming up with protoforms for tongue that start with T. Remember, short forms are our friends. One syllable is awesome. And I think that's too much. I think it's used to be 50. And I think it's nap time. <laughs> <laughs> like I could just like fall over right now. But someone also, a uh, Tincture Overcast, is suggesting a Copico. But I think we need a word for tongue before we get a Copico. I think so, too. And then that gives me time to finish my Beach Paradise. That's a mannerly, mannerly, mannerly circle. Oh, I love it. Okay. All right, let's. Where did I just type? To do a little bit of. Just typed an asterisk. All right. Set the side variance um, to zero. All right. Magpie, can you choose one syllable that you would want? And ragdoll, you have a consonant cluster that's not allowed. And I, do we have diphthongs in this language? A U is that allowable? I don't think so. Let's find out. But we may need a new suggestion there. Tincture Overcast is being cute with tongue. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. Um, can't do diphthongs like that. We've got T A T. Nice. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay. Oh, but we can do owl. Um, cool. Then. Okay. Perfect. Ragda, I'll do towel for you. Perfect. I think we can start. Okay. So I have enough. I'm gonna run through the the forms on Lexergy just to double check. I think I know what they would end up being, but I'd rather just double check everything. All right. So I want to show everybody what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm starting with the circle. So what I want to do, <laughs> you can ignore the writing on the top, that's Meridian's work. But uh, Proto-Q is just a circle, but in this font, we want to give it a little bit of a flourish. And so it's going to be like, it's going to be kind of like you wrote it like that, but with a really fat pen. And so it's going to come out like this. So we're going to be trying to do something like this. All right, David. Uh huh. We got to narrow it down to four. Okay, so we have uh, proto tus becoming tes, proto tu becoming tu, proto tai becoming modern tai tai, uh, proto tul becoming til, proto te becoming te, proto tau becoming tu. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six forms. Need to eliminate two of them. Well, and two of them are two, so we just we would stick with one or the other, I would think. Yes. Yeah, so then we just need to eliminate one. And I am not feeling tes. Get rid of that one. <clears throat> the taste is out. And 
And then also, Aaron is texting us something important. Does T or L feel more tonguey? D, L. Dao. Okay, I've got my four forms. I'm going to make up the rest. What's the best way to go about this? Put some more nodes in here so that we don't break anything. Actually, Jake, that's great. I know it's right here. I think probably somewhere around here that's where that's going to end. So it's going to be like probably somewhere around there. So let's put one. Hold on a sec. Right there. Now, let's do some stuff. Actually, maybe let's leave those in there. Um, oh my day. Yeah. This is off to a contentious start. Three way tie. For those who are wondering, the soundtrack that's going in, in my head right now is uh, Slow Yourself Down by Camel. Which Jesse has heard. You should put your phone on silent. It is on silent. 240 is going to come up. Oh, I, I turned it off. Oh, okay. Whoa, what's happening here? Yeah. So now what we need to do is we need to change this from smooth to straight because... Pink show over back. That's great. And the same thing with this one. We're changing it from smooth to straight so that this angle stays correct, but this one we can play with. See? What do you think? Whoa. That's really fun. Thanks. And now I'm just going to futz with it a little bit. Get more of that. Yeah. Bum, bum. like a, a cat with the classic hairdo that boys had in the school pictures. Yeah. I mean. Now, uh, let me ask everybody watching, and I also want to ask you what you think about this. This is clearly a more of a blunted end, like a chisel tip end. Do you like that, or do you like it to be more curved? I mean, I like chisel tip, but I guess... Be, because really, like, I just had to guess, basically, about where I was putting these two nodes. If I put this node further that way, or this node further that way, we can get more of a gradual, you know, rounder edge. Well, do you want to try it both ways, and we can ask a poll if they both work good enough for us to decide that we like them? Yeah, let's go for it. I wonder what happens if I delete this node. Do I need it? Okay. I don't. We now have a <laughs> we now have a winner. Yeah. Here. With tongue. Huh. Very many other things we can make. By the way. It was, it was Christian Talman, by the way, who, who mentioned, like, I forget with what, maybe it was with Rothkin, but he was like, if you're going to do something, you might as well make it a bit more obvious. Kind of like this. Good night, Davide. Good night, Davide. All right, there's one. Oh my Miles, God! It did it again. Miles said it looked like the generic uh, person for like like the head of a generic person for a restroom. Because yeah. again, like that little, it just looked like a sweepy haircut. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna be doing the same thing, but 
we're going to change the angle of attack. So we have it like this, but this needs to be much steeper to get the, uh, to the technical. Yeah. So. Is that a technical term? Ooh. I think so, yeah. yeah. So let's try this. Oh, we have a word for tongue. Do you wanna do you wanna do a copico? Or do you wanna get this done first? You know, I, I do wanna do a copico, but give me just one little moment ski. And Jake is asking if you looked in Discord at the Bask example. Um it's not ringing a bell. No, that doesn't work. I tried. I tried. I failed. Oh well. Hmm. It's like this needs to. Here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Huh. What a unique font. Now he's seen it. Oh dear. And for anyone asking on, on Discord, um, sweet tea in the South is so sweet I can't drink it. Like filtering sugar through your teeth. <laughs> so this isn't working out as well as I'd hoped, but I like the other one. Like I get where you're going with it. Yeah. But I still like the other one better. Like I don't think you can rescue that throw point. I'm gonna like it as much. You got it. So uh, we don't picture. we don't get rid of anything, by the way, when we're fonting. At least that's my opinion about how things should be. So I I tend to use or I started for High Valerian and I've stuck with it. I use yellow for we we are not going to use this because what you can do is later once we have all of our glyphs down here that we like, you, what you can do is delete this in such a way that it will stay stored in the font. That, but it won't be assigned to any uh, keystroke. Um, and I think that's very helpful. It kind of shows you the history of what you're doing. And um, I think that's kind of nice. So here we go then. All right, that's now our cue. Mm -hmm. Celebrate. Celebrate with it. Go, be, go. <laughs> Those cues were amazing. Thank you. You are that work colleague. Mm. Well, I just recently learned the verb um, mojaka, mojaka, and mojaka. Oh, majaksa. Majaksa, I forgot the S. Uh, well, you know, majaksa would be um, um, if the third person singular was doing it. Yeah. I was like, where did he come up with this word? Majakagon. Good question. Cheers. Because <laughs> I don't remember. I'm doing my, my oh. High Valerian oh. Um, oh, uh, duo of course. mango for anyone asking. So, uh, rakagon uh, is to like, to love, to cherish, right? Mas rapagon would be the inceptive form of that. And then the S and the R become a ja. So, majakakon. Wow. Yeah. And that means to admire, right? Yeah. And it's like, you know, when you start to love somebody, you admire them. <laughs> but only when you start the admiration thing. Ah, <laughs> Copico, when you do conlanging right. <laughs> when you 
the economy, right? Mm, 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 economy. Mm. 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 All right. Well, I'm really pleased with that car. But now, so we have the car there. All right. Now we need to do this H. And I'm not sure how precisely we're going to do that. I'm going to sketch up two different variants for you. And we'll see which we like better. Both of them are going to be based on, um, you know, this shape that we've done. Mm. One of them. Dark horse, you're right. It does look like the the cat curled up. Isn't that nice? My God, Jake, that's hilarious. A case of high altitude and false linguistic universals. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. But also Dark Horse. Language of the bells for Christmas. We both like Carol of the Bells, so we might have it in there too. Language of the cool. I wish I had a video of me in high school when I was in the bell choir. I wish I had that too. I don't know why this form be giving me so much grief. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So it's like they're supposed to be all, you know, whatever. Look at all of these nodes. Wow. I hate that. On the outside, it's fine. On the inside, it's like, meow. Can I move some of them? Oh, can you do that again? Because that was a perfect cat. Mm. Really? That was my nerd noise. Meow. <laughs> Sounded like a cat going, meow. <laughs> that would be. Oh my god. David sent me a video the other day on Reddit of this cat who was like really angry at not being let in. And so when the, the person finally opened the door and brought them in, um, the cat like made this noise as it walked through the door that was like grumbling. And it was great because it's like that's the kind of grumbling noise I always pretend that David has. <laughs> Because I'm like, he's all like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and like, that's exactly what the cat did when it came in the door. Yeah, it was so funny because it started off with some pretty, you know, plaintive and very cat like meows, like very loud. Meow, meow, meow. But then it was like when the door opened and the cat came in, that's when the, <laughs> that's when Grumble Kitty came out. <laughs> <laughs> David is such a Grumble Kitty. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a little bit better. Okay. I'm on it. I might do another one. We need a word for the insect, a fly. Not a verb, but an actual little fly. That's beautiful. No, but like you see what it's still doing? I don't I don't understand it, but it's better than it was. Okay. This fly word needs to start with an N in its proto form. Um, oh, Logan, that is wonderful. It makes me want to try to do it. Did the math on, let's say you've got seven bells, you can hold two bells at once. So that could be rung simultaneously or in either order in succession, and that gives you 147 bell charm syllables. Hmm. That's amazing. And like totally doable because seven laid out in front of you is totally an option. Amazing. I think everybody knows, by the way, what I have to do. So it's like, all right, if I'm going to do it, I'm at least going to create a form that's going to be useful for me later. We'll make this yellow because it's going to be a piece of a form. All right. So I see one form so far. Actually, wait. Wait. No, the T can't be a coda after a nasal, I don't think. We, yeah, we only have approximants followed by nasals and um, fricatives. And so, uh, Piotr, if you want to switch up how you do that, you can have N-E-N. -E you could have N-E-L-N. -E 
or like any R in or something like that, but but it can't be like that. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I will use that one. I should also double check and make sure we're not making the same protoforms. Um, Got to double check our protoform list. Yeah. Now what? Huh? Huh? Now it's good. By the way, we're going to drop this over here and put it in yellow just in case we want it later. Now we're going to do a couple of different things. So we've decided these things are 150. So a line needs to be 150. We're going to create a line. Put that, I don't know, over here. Should have checked protoform. Yeah. We already have Q as a protoform. Uh oh. All right. I didn't know why that one made sense for tongue anyway. Well, we're gonna have to. In checking these. Okay, so we don't have any of those. I'm going to go back and see what came in second place. Tay came in second place. Mm. From T. Mm. We don't seem convinced about that either. Because Teal means to escape or to flee. Uh. Oh, no need to apologize. That was me. I should have checked. I should know better by now in this stage of language creation. So always check if you don't want over overlapping forms. Okay. No, no, not that. We want free rotate. Okay, and the angle we're looking for is, I want to say, 45 degrees? Give me an even 45. Okay. Where's the angle up there? <laughs> yeah. I did just commented. Jonathan and Eminem floating over to the right there. No. On like in real life, Jonathan, or like on the screen. <laughs> like I'm looking around, like what? Now, oh, Bibs, that's a great question. I think what it means is we don't welcome viewer questions. You know, we don't interact with our viewers at I, all. I would answer that question if it were asked to the Q and A channel. Johnny came in. Wait a minute. Oh. But not in real life, so I don't need to keep looking over my shoulder for a giant M&M. <laughs> I'm like thinking about the M&Ms in the commercials just walking up behind me. <laughs> what? How did this M&M come to be? Right there. Where? No, not in real life, in the font program. Oh, I see. So that's why I said, like, I was looking around, but. Hey, hi, Jabe. 
Yeah. For fly, we have too many forms. Would you prefer me, lar, mit, mis, mits? Which one of those do you disprefer? I and it's a bzz, right? Yeah, yeah, a little, a little bzz, 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 bzz. Um, An M and M with wings, if you will. Yeah, I got it. Uh, get rid of Neek. <laughs> Someone outside is like, "Screw that, punk!" <laughs> All right. How do we know if it's in the middle? Hey, Bibleridian, how do you know if it's in the middle? That's the midpoint. How do I how do I know if a diagonal is in the middle? Like, is there some mathy way? Can your biology do that? Oh, you sound so disdainful. Biology. Let me tell you something about hard science. As long as somebody else does it, it's okay. Okay, pretend the eyes and the protoforms are barred. They would be, I just said. Can the radius of the circle be known? I don't know. <clears throat> Jake wants to know if we can make it wiggle. The radius of the circle is 500. Um, don't worry about that yet. <laughs> Gabe said if you're coming with questions about math, you're going to be bitterly disappointed. Math and biology are basically identical. One of them is just done with numbers. The other one is done with bodies. I feel like you don't really understand. I, I got an A minus at least one semester in ninth grade biology. So I think I can speak with some level of authority on the subject. Okay, hold on. This is the midpoint. Then we have almost a full square there. This is the midpoint. We have a full square and then some that way. So no. We have confirmation that if you're signed into two different devices under the same account, it does not let you vote twice. Oh, that's nice. Um, it's reassuring. That looks better. And Jake shared the Z in Burmese, which is a delightful. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. See, this is closer. And you can tell because if this is the midpoint, now it gets a full square and a tiny little bit, and this one gets a full square and a tiny little bit. But it's not precise. How do you make that precise? There's got to be some way. Okay, so Miles says you can map the two ends of that rectangle to a given angular section of the circle 0 to 360. Eh, no, this is the lazier way to do it. Let's just put uh, points at 500. Um, Let's see, 500 and 500. And let's see, so that's, and we know that the X has to be, so that's 107 more than 500, and that's 106 less than 500. So that's pretty darn close. We have a winner. Meets is a fly. Yeah, that's 106. Let's just do that. That's good. So um, anyway, since this is a um, since this is a Bibleridian Q and A, what 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 bless you, I say, what what manner of um, what kind of music uh, plays in the uh, in the Bibleridian Lighthouse? Like, what music do you find yourself listening to most of the time? What do you enjoy?
The only thing that came to mind was like a cacophony of frogs. Ragdoll says, bless you too. Thank you. All right, I need you to get ready to do another poll very shortly. Uh, so I won't think about another word poll for a minute. Yeah. So we're going with the shape of H. Look at that. Bibler Indian said music is one of those things that never made any sense to me. Is he in your your book now? Um, no, and now he's not in my book. He is oh, he is uh, he is not book. He is uh, been left out of the book of people. So um, actually before we turn this into a poll, what are your thoughts, Jess? Which one is this for? H. Oh. Okay. I like three of them better than one of them. That's interesting. Oh, and of course, I look at it on the screen and I, I did it so perfectly. Look, it's cut off. Unbelievable. Just a second. We need a word for that, too. Cacophony. Did anyone answer my poll yet? Cacophony. No, it's cacophony. What are you talking about? It's spelled with an O. Why would it be cacophony? Seriously? But yeah, it's C-A-C-O. How long has it been spelled with an O? For as long as it's inception. Here, I'm going to see if that fixed it. <clears throat> Jonathan says that frog is cognate to frolic. And also to frobat and frolic. Oh, Whoa! I love it. Oh, that makes me happy. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, and it's because of the spirit of the original drawing, which I, I loved. I like the ones with the two ends, but I feel like it could get simplified over time just because like that's two separate strokes that would have to be made, right? Because it's like whoosh, 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 like that for the circle. Yeah. So if it... I just can't believe it's getting cut off. It's really it, annoying me. Anyway, go ahead. If it became simplified, I think I like the diagonal better. Okay. If we only have one end point. Otherwise, I like the two with the two end points just because of the original drawing. I kind of, yeah, I really like the, the two with the two end points. God, I, I keep waffling between whether I like the straight or the diagonal for one end point better. Hmm. We're talking about this, Jonathan, like that's on the screen, but clearly not all on the screen, even though I... Well, there's Brian here, but... I said that. You said Jonathan. I said Briathan. <laughs> anyway, this is annoying me a little bit, so I'm gonna... Yeah, you're right, Ragdoll. It does kind of Harken to a prohibited sign, which is unfortunate. All right, well, that's all on the screen. Make sure our heads aren't covering it, just like it. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Now it's, oh, just go down a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. There. All right, I feel like that'll do it. Okay. Perfect. Do you want me 
to do a poll or did you want to take an option out before we did anything with it? Um, really, I wanted to know if you had a strong preference and I wanted to hear that. I wanted it to be spoken before we turned it to everybody else. My favorite is the, the second one. Yeah. What? This one? Mm -hmm. I thought you liked the diagonal. Wow, that's wild. I did like the diagonal, but now I'm like, <sighs> because. Um, mm -hmm. No, wait, that's pretty cute, too. Never mind, I like the fourth one. I really like those two. Don't listen. Listen. And of course. I'm trying to drink out of the cup that's not the straw. I don't like the ones with two because I think they're too muddy. Especially like when you get down to this. Oh, actually, when you get down to that size, you barely even notice. Hmm. I don't know. Open it up. Do you have a preference? It's, you know what, let's just let everybody vote and then let Bip Loridian decide. I'm reading that small right now, Brian, by looking at the, uh, the live chat on my phone over here. You'd be surprised. And I know that some people were thinking, and someone may have actually asked, um, are we actually going to go with a, a line that's that straight? I wanted to do this schematically first before we messed with the line, because otherwise we'd have to do it with four different glyphs, and that's just silly. Um, but no, we're not married to a perfectly straight line, necessarily. <clears throat> All right, so in the poll, I've given them numbers and descriptions. Bib, that is a great question. Um, I think David and I are both going to be doing it on um, Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to... So Lexember is what we're, we're talking about there. Yeah, so for Lexember, um, I'm going to post on Instagram, and then I'm also going to have it post uh, to Tumblr automatically because I am back on Tumblr. For those that don't know, because they weren't familiar with Tumblr, Tumblr is where I had my largest following. I think before I left Tumblr, I had over 40,000 followers, which easily dwarfs the number of followers I had on any other social media platform or YouTube. Um, so, uh, I was sad to leave, but had to, but things have been corrected over at Tumblr, and so I'm happy to be back and uh, get my follower count back up. I dropped all the way down to 28,000. That's what happens when you quit. <laughs> what have I brought up? Good. Oh, wait, I need to be looking at the poll results. I'm good. Okay. Ooh, well, two in points is funny, whether you wanted it to or not. I'm going to see if we get our final two votes that could sway things. I don't know. going to say something but now I don't remember hmm. I don't know I don't think uh, I don't think we're going to get those stray votes I think we're pretty well set okay so it's two in point straight line hmm. oh I, I uh, Bibleridian given the number of followers you have on your YouTube channel I don't think you need to figure out how anything else works <laughs> I mean, 
he has, he's got more followers on his YouTube channel than I've ever had on any social media and YouTube, all of them combined. It's nuts. I'm just, I'm sad that Twitter is collapsing because it's the only one I fully felt like I actually understood how to use and, <laughs> and that I could like get something out of it when I used it. I think and now I'm like, ugh. I think Twitter is a very good concept, and it's. I also think it's a very good thing, uh, and I think that it is going to come back someday, uh, perhaps in a slightly modified form. Right now, it's not happening, but I think it will be back one day. Um, it's not going to be Mastodon, good lord. <laughs> what a mess. Uh, all right, so let's let's do something here and let's make these a little bit wavy gravy and give it a in and maybe honor, a boop. Oh, in honor of us having a glyph form that's getting set for h mm -hmm. i think we need to come up with a word for h Right, which is two, two cats, cats cuddling. cuddling. And so let me double check. I don't think we have like the cuddle or the hug. We do have to hug. All right, so this is not hugging. This is like cuddling, like sleeping cuddling. What do you think? Right, guys. Wait. I'm good, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, the one on the right totes. Okay. Uh, it goes with the spirit of the plot. Okay. Okay, so we need a verb for to cuddle. And it needs to start with an H. Um, All right, stick with that. Oh, good. Jake doesn't consider us middle-aged because all of their middle-aged friends are on Facebook and we're not on there, so that means <laughs> that we are not middle-aged. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying, Bib. Good call. So Bib wants something specific for like being able to post Lex Ember who, stuff for people to follow. Who on earth is following Bibleridian for anything other than conlangy? Who are these people? If he says that people are following him for biology, like it's for like world building. I don't and think stuff. those. I don't think biology people are real. Like they can't be. But it's world building and like fiction and creative writing and like mm. writing and fantasy and drawing because sometimes artists want to be like, how could I draw something that's you know? Yeah, and so I suppose like there's so many creative reasons to be following bib this has turned into an advertisement for the bibleridian youtube channel follow now yeah. smash that like button mm. and subscribe here i better put these in yellow too so i remember that they're not things the tincture overcast says that of bibs 10 most popular videos eight are biology or, or Speculative biology. Hmm. We're getting some some interesting forms here. We've got Hulk and Hulk. <clears throat> Keep them coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's next. It looks. I don't know about the look of this. It looks a little. Cause like it's so precise when you look at it big. But when you look at it small, it reminds me of the spray paint at the beginning of um, 21 Jump Street. We'll see. We'll see. It reminds me of a, a snout, a pig snout. <laughs> we'll see what's next. Ooh, a hand and a thumb. And don't you worry, I'll be checking all these forms to make sure I don't do the same thing I already did. Hmm. 
I do W and O that are C's. Mm -hmm. uh, I should try to do something for Schwadi for that center. Yeah, I remember like I was suggesting that. Oh, well, I was suggesting actually that you do Vampire Academy Ashnamari. Right, but that would be on my Clotho Linguist account. That's right. You have another one. Yeah. Mm. Which only has three entries because I've fallen woefully behind on all aspects of life. That's what happens. I mean, especially when you get sick. It's just a bummer. What happened the last month before that? It's been a while since I posted. For yeah, but I've been sick a long time. and You've had to take care of me since I can't take care of myself. Not even when I'm well. <laughs> all right. Ultimately, when it comes to a pool, you just got to dive in somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to do the C's. So uh, backwards uh, a C is W, a forwards C is um, O. And they should look more or less like mirrored versions of one another. And I'm going to cut it there because I might need those. So we cut. Delete. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to resolve this. Because uh, obviously it never started as a natural curve. It started as, you know, kind of a thing. So let's put a point here. Let's make it smooth. Oh my god. I have to know something. How many people watching, and this especially includes Bibliridian, have seen Captain EO? Jake's going to move in with us for a week to take care of me. Oh, yes. Uh, then he'll take care of you. <laughs> he was adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. I'm sorry. Everybody's been, just been watching me fumble around. Obviously, the thing to do here is to make these smooth. Oh, boy. Okay, 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 okay. Two curve. Now make these smooth. There. No. Okay, hold on a sec. We're going we're gonna to do this. Legit. Okay, so this is at 321.1175. We're going to put it back. 321.1175. Take that. Wait, did this one change? Shoot. Okay, just need to make sure that that one didn't change. Oh my god, it did change. Okay, hold on. Got to write this down. Okay, the top one is at 321.1175. The bottom one is at 346.676. All right. All right. Now we can build it. See, I didn't think that See, I didn't think that would change that one. It, I don't think it did. Okay. I so, have some forms for you to consider to narrow down. All right. And then this is at 346, All right. And that's our chisel, our smooth chisel tip. Do you like it? Mm. 
All right. Mm. Good deal. Okay. So this is for to cuddle. Got hook, hat, ha, ha. Uh, ha. Uh, get rid of hmm. This one, right? Yeah. Hmm. And get rid of hat. Yeah, I don't want to feel very cuddly. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Bib wants to know from whom did the Hyvalerians borrow the word for glass? They didn't. It's derived from the word for sand. Remember, they had glass going way back. Uh, they they had, I mean, the, the Fanon seems to believe that they had the equivalent of electricity uh, and skyscrapers before things uh, got out of hand. Um, but they had, um, there's discussion of them having glass light fixtures specifically. <clears throat> oh, oh. <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I just copied the, the glyph from the Valerian font and pasted it into here so I'd have somewhere to start with. Um, that's just so like I didn't have to draw another form because I actually don't know how to do it. Like it never seems to work when I use any of these things. It's kind of like um, a starter for a sourdough. Um, like I don't even know how to create one anymore. I just copy a glyph from some other font and uh, then I start forming that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna post the poll. Oh. And, and one thing I want to, to ask you to consider is that the yes. GH is pronounced like a uvular trill which means that's a bit like purring. Yeah. And I just want to point that out before I post it because it doesn't look like a cuddle word until you say it out loud. Oh, you're saying that to the people voting. I'm saying that voting. to them. You're not voting. Hmm. Mm. So I want this to be a little... Like this type of a thing. And then we have one minute left, David. Yeah, I know. Time has gotten away from us, has it not? That never happens when you're lonely. Mm -hmm. okay. Make this maybe two. I may have swayed that, but yeah. Ha is our word. Ha. Ha. <laughs> it's like a sigh and a trill. That's good. Okay. <laughs> I'm using my powers for evil and purrs. Okay, so now we have a word for to cuddle. <sighs> I can't say it, but it's delightful. Can you say it for me, David? Oh. oh my god, it sounds so good when you say it. Oh. Oh. Okay. And maybe do I get rid of this one? I hope everybody like sees and appreciates like I, I'm trying to, to like do something here. It's just yeah. not working. And I wanna say, um, yeah, Brian, like that glottal stop at the end of a word I think can be harder, like um, for instance, the, or the end of a syllable even, um, like the language name, um, it's not Navi, it's Navi, where you get the uh at the end, Navi. It's easier if you um, think you, if it, it's easier if you think it's spelled N-A-T-V-I. Oh yeah, yeah, Navi. Um, but oh, like God. at the beginning of a word, honestly, a lot of English speakers have a hard time starting a vowel word. 
you know, like just not midstream, but like just saying a word that starts with a vowel without doing a glottal stop first. Um, so we really do that a lot. And so like owl versus owl, where, you know, you just get like a at the beginning. Yeah. It's not really a, a click at all at the beginning. I just made a noise with my mouth. Um, but yeah, a lot of times we, we do um, put that glottal stop at the beginning of vowel words. And um, you can really feel it in examples like, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Like you can really feel it there. Um, but yeah, it's... So anyway, I think for a lot of English speakers, it's conceptually easier to do the glottal stop at the beginning of the syllable than it is at the end. But yeah, David, that's a really good point because we glottal stop so many of our final T's um, that if you just think about it ending in a T and say it quickly, you're going to end up using a glottal stop. Yeah, uh, especially because like even when we don't glottal stop our T's, we tend not to release them. Yeah. And so acoustically... It's barely distinguishable. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, Bubba. Um. I love you too. I hope everybody's appreciating how hard I'm working on this thing um, right here. You're getting comments like Jake says it looks very jazzy. Thank God. Byron, or sorry, not Byron. Viren, uh, says uh, that they really like this squirrel. Thank God. Um, I'm working so hard. Jake, in fact, says, Se ve maravilloso. All right. And so, I, yes. I can be satisfied with that. But what has Bib Loridian said? Um, nothing. <laughs> 61. Uh, all right. So it's 4.03. Yeah, I know. And normally I wouldn't care if we go over, but like. I know. <laughs> Hang on. It's like, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Maybe we can. I... Also getting comments that it's like Thai, but trunk. Uh, uh, Here, you look away. It's like Thai? Like T-H-A-I. Really? Created an entire writing system that looked like Thai. Uh, Bibliridian says it looks lovely. Thank God. Okay. Oh, Jonathan, I can't wait to see it. Jonathan is attempting um, his own spin on the glyphs at the same time based on the poll results, the, the one that should have won. Oh. And I'm excited. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to... And then... All right. Okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna put you on the timer, and then when the timer goes off, I'm I'm out. I know, I know, I know. It really is looking good, though. Like I don't want you to stop necessarily. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. For now, for now, anyway. I mean, it'll, it'll probably totally change by tomorrow, but um, or by next time. But, and then we're just going to flip that around, do, 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 and we get that. Um, and we're gonna again for the right now repeat the sign bearings. There we go. All right. So we have four glyphs so far. We've made some real headway, and uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. Again, we won't be here next Thursday. It is a holiday in the U.S., and we're not going to have any kind of internet connection while we're there at all. Um, we're, we're going to the country. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Uh, so um, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you in December. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, we will, uh, we will for our special episode, we will talk CopyCon results. And then the planning will begin. And that's it. That's it. Oh, uh, patrons this Saturday, yeah? Patron live stream? Patron live stream this Saturday. And oh. So we'll see you this Saturday. And, and just to like give you a little heads up, because we want as many patrons there as possible, 
we will be talking um, Wokutishu and Luxembourg and trees. Nice. Um, because we need to, to create those. And so, woo, it's going to be fun. All, All right. right. By the way, Viv Loridian said feel better, which is... Thank you, Viv. Not what he usually says about you in our private chat. I know Viv loves me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, everyone stay grammar, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye, everybody.